This man Vegeta is such a bitch that his own son had the highest power level. You don't see Goku doing this with Gohan. Goku was happy Gohan surpassed him. What's happening, people? This is your boy Blaze here, back at you with another one for Venomous Reactions. And we got some Black Air Force energy coming your way, courtesy of Sensei. This time it's focusing on Perfect Cell. Now, I know I skipped over the whole Android, Android Black Air Force energy scenario, but let's be honest. Out of, out of all the Androids, Cell was my favorite, so... It's, it makes perfect sense. So, we're going to see what Sensei has to say about Perfect Cell and Black Air Force Energy. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, our favorite protagonist, Sensei, told us about the Android Saga. There was a whole lot of action there as we met Trunks with the little vest and the cool hairstyle. Bro had a sword, but he couldn't get the job done against the androids. Instead of powering up to his own fruition, he decided to take the easy way out and come to a different timeline to try again. Things did seem to go as planned. However, there was a wrench in Trunks' scheme as Cell approaches. Today, we will be talking about Ooh. Cell, his shenanigans, and his perfect form. This is Perfect Cell, the menace of Earth. All right, Joe, so last time yes. on the last episode Let's of Dragon go. Ball Z, we left off with Cell's second form finally obtaining his perfect form. Now, this was due to this McDonald's arch hairline ass nigga Vegeta messing up once again because... <laughs> Man... Did you just stay getting clowned on his McDonald's hairline? Oh, oh, McDouble hair, McDouble mascot looking ass. <laughs> his pride Ooh. gets in the way. Oh, I ain't it. gonna lie, saying pride is a little <laughs> annoying. We're gonna talk about that a lot in this video. However, Vegeta just does it more often than everyone else. Why did you let him absorb Andrew? God, I swear to God, Vegeta. If he wasn't so strong, I would smack. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, it wasn't Vegeta's fault. Um, that Android Seventeen got absorbed. But uh, but I get what he's trying to say. But I'm just saying, you know, Vegeta was still in the hyperbolic time chamber, getting that swole on that good old Saiyan workout, <laughs> so he can body sell, or so we thought. Your hairline straight. Anyways, Perfect Cell is literally terrorizing everybody on this small island. He warms up by dog walking Krillin and asks Vegeta to help him warm up even more. First off, why is Krillin getting dog walk like this? That didn't even need to happen. Be Facts. Bro, get these ass up out of here. Beat the goofy out of this nigga. Damn near killed him with one hit. Trunks went to go give him a sensu bean later on and was like, oh my god, thank god you're still breathing. Yeah, no shit. This man Perfect Cell literally punished this nigga. This man Cell hit Krillin so hard, the little dots on his forehead started coming off. I'm just saying this nigga's different. Now, as Cell is destroying everybody on this island, Gohan and Goku are still training in the time chamber. Now, Gohan is in here having a self-reflection about being a bitch. He starts recollecting about every other time Damn. in his life where he got angry and got stronger, but... He didn't go to the extreme because he's a soft ass pussy. Now I know Gohan's the go. Oh, oh come on, oh come on now, man. You gotta give Gohan some decorum of credit here. Like, <laughs> come on now. When he went Super Saiyan two, and he was the only person to do it the right way. But we all know when he went Super Saiyan two, he was an absolute monster. Ah, uh, but then he grew up. Enough said. Oh, then it's not fair to just say he's, you know, a super soft ass dude, but but even he realized how much of a bitch he was being, bro. He's literally having flashbacks like, damn, 
I did go crazy on Raditz, but I was a bitch there, okay? Damn, I remember when I was being a bitch, my man Piccolo, and he threw me into a rock and I blew it up. That was crazy. I remember Damn. I was being a bitch about Frieza, then I got mad, I started attacking her. I mean him, my fault, had to sound like a girl. I mean, this man just keeps having flashbacks, I, I don't know. Now, this is when he finally goes Super Saiyan 3. I mean, oh, my fault, Super Saiyan 1, and his hair long as shit. His hair so long, this man Goku grabbed Facts. him by his ponytail and was like, yeah, nigga, we gotta cut your hair, I'm not gonna lie. Take him to a barber though, yo, not Vegeta's, oh God, I'm just saying. So at this point, Cell is fighting Vegeta because this man Trunks refuses I'm to sweet. get in the fight until Vegeta either passes out, dies, or becomes unconscious. Now Krillin is begging and pleading this man Trunks the entire time like, bro, help your dad, he's getting destroyed. But this man Trunks is literally concealing his power level this entire time because he doesn't want his dad to feel self-conscious. This man Vegeta is such a bitch that his own son had to hide his power level. You don't see Goku doing this with Gohan. Goku was happy Gohan surpassed him. I swear to God, bro, this man Vegeta, bro, this stupid, God damn. Man. Facts so, though, like, come on now, Go Goku even predicted, like, Gohan was the one, <laughs> and he called it, but man, Vegeta was a whole dumbass throughout, throughout his fight with Cell, like, bro, you got so cocky and arrogant to where you was like, you know what, you know what, go, go get the android. Get to your full power, and we'll see what's up. Lo and behold, that was the biggest mistake he could have ever made. Anyway, Cell warms up, and by warms up, I mean he anally penetrates Vegeta. I know y'all said pause when I just said that, because that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but <laughs> that's literally what he was doing, bro. He was dog walking this nigga, bro. Lying, Vegeta though. even attacks a vital spot of Cell. Hits this nigga in a vital spot of his neck, and Cell eats it and is fine. Like says, it was What's wrong, Vegeta? And start smiling at him. At this point, Vegeta is mentally and physically defeated, bro. Uh, he's out of the fight, bro. I know y'all see the Broly movie. I'm just saying this happens to him often. He pushes this nigga Vegeta through multiple boulders. Miki, Miki, Miki. Yeah. He fly through them boulders. I ain't gonna lie. Trunks watching his dad get bitch, but says, I can't help him. Like, bro, he literally says he's not gonna help until his dad gets put to sleep. What kind of shit is that? So Vegeta's in this water at this time and he pulls himself out of it. Literally looking pathetic as hell. I'm not gonna lie, but he used his final flash. This shit almost blew the entire earth up. Thank God he changed the, you know, the direction a little bit. So we're going to the atmosphere. And I ain't gonna lie, yo, this was a powerful attack. It ate half of Thanks. Cell's torso, bro. And this man Cell should get a literal Oscar for that performance, cause this nigga sold that he was hurt. I ain't gonna hold you when I was a kid and watch this, I thought Cell was down and out. But <laughs> man, you wasn't the only one. But then I thought like, then they played the trump card regeneration inherited from Pic inherited from piccolo <laughs> but he ain't lying though man so he deserved an oscar for that one because he sold he sold the damage to the core just to feed vegeta's ego as if as if it needed to be fed even more but he just did it for shits and giggles, and and what and once Vegeta got full of himself, it was like, okay, time for another round, regenerate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Vegeta, you my guy and all, but you're a dumbass, a complete utter dumbass. Vegeta even started laughing, but this dickhead laughed back and said. Gotcha. I said, oh, nah, and use Piccolo's power to regenerate. Nigga started mixing Vegeta after this, bro. He was even walking through a barrage of Vegeta's blast, yo. Vegeta's like, it's not he doing just anything to him, like literally, bro. He's eating all of that. He walks through the blast and sleeps this nigga. Now that Vegeta finally got put to sleep, like somebody read this nigga a lullaby, this man Trunks goes Broly mode. Bro got swoped as hell. This Super Saiyan, Thanks. Super Super Saiyan Trunks, or Ascended Saiyan, whatever you want to call it, Saiyan 1.5, this is a big nigga, bro. Bro got big as shit. Like, yo, how long he was in the gym? I ain't gonna lie. 
it was going crazy. <laughs> nigga really look like that nigga though. I ain't gonna lie. People always ask that cheetah. How you get so big and strong? Forcing you wanna do just wanna have a scoop of super saiyan. Gohan and Goku are playing tag at this point. These niggas in here playing while the world is in danger. I'm like, what's up with y'all? Niggas here like, hey, see if you can catch me. Come on, son. What are we even doing right now? Anyways, Trunks vs. Cell starts. And Trunks fakes being weaker so Vegeta can get away. Basically, he leads Cell away from him so Krillin can get him and fly away. Krillin even comments about Vegeta when he goes to pick him up. He was like, bro, there's no way. I would have let your ass got smoked. I ain't gonna lie. Like, damn, Krillin. He was like, Luke, he did say that. <laughs> He didn't even say it. he didn't say it directly, but he low key said it like indirectly. If you get my drift, but like, bro, like you see, you see what we're up against, like, bro, and you let this happen. Oh no, bro, you got you got to eat you got to eat the dirt. You got to eat the pavement for this one because you was a whole idiot for letting this happen in the first place. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't know how this nigga can even love you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. But this whole episode shows why Cell is the GOAT, bro. I'm not even going to lie, bro. This nigga said he doesn't even care about the world or world conquest. He just wants hands. And at this point, Trunks is in his big form. But from what we learn, Goku says this form sucks. He's like, yeah, I've surpassed like my limits, but I'm too slow. It takes too much energy, too. So ba yeah, you're basically sacrificing speed for power. Like, when you bulk up like that, man... You gain, you gain power. Don't get me wrong, but your speed quickly diminishes. Like you cannot catch your opponent. Like if your opponent, if your opponent has any source of speed on him, he's gonna dodge every attended blow that you intend to give him. Ah. Vegeta knew that shit. But he wasn't dumb enough to try. <laughs> but Trunks did, and yeah. Basically, you're in this big berserker form, but it's easy to dodge, and you run out of key too fast. And because of this, Goku decides to have him and Gohan stay in their Super Saiyan form as long as possible, bro. They gonna eat, sleep, and shit in Super Saiyan, bro. Literally. No matter Basically. what we doing, we in Super Saiyan form. I'm like, okay, y'all trying to maximize that stamina. I see you. Oh, that was crazy. But anyways. Trunks realizes after getting oh, a 50 piece Lord. nugget with a large fry that he's too slow and can't win. And right before he's about to smoke this nigga Trunks, Sal was like, hey, how did you guys get so strong so fast? Can you get stronger if you had more time? He was like, yeah, I guess. He was like, hmm. All right, cool. So this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna set up a cell arena. We celebrate the summer <laughs> savings and box <laughs> discount <laughs> furniture with our best finance. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, that cell arena. It's looking mighty clean as hell. I can't even lie. Over 30. There used to be a World Martial Arts tournament, and I'm going to recreate it. It's going to be called the Cell Games. Y'all niggas got 10 days from now. Bring everybody that y'all want, and we're going to fight. Mano we mano. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey to Mickey, Mickey. You feel me? Like, hey, we about to get it in. And that's when I realized this was a goat. Bro literally created a Cell Arena and stood there and waited for 10 days just to run the hands with it. Oh my god, bro. He even breaks into a news station to announce the tournament. Now, usually I would have just told you what he normally said to everybody. But y'all know I gotta hit y'all with that hood translation, bro. He said, Yo, gang, gang, gang. Hey yo, it's your boy <laughs> Sam. Coming straight out of news any city, you feel me? Hey yo, shout out to Boma. I seen you got that new BBL and that new Gohan movie trailer, you feel me? I'm just saying though, like what you trying to get into? You talking about capsule court. Yo, I got a bill for you, you feel me? <laughs> right, anyways, my fault, yo. I don't want to get Vegeta too mad, you feel me? It's for a hairline, you feel me? But anyway, hey yo, I'm setting up a sale tournament, you feel me? I want everybody to come here and get these hands in. If there's any fighters in the world that think that they nice with those, you feel me? You nice with these? They come see me, you feel me? Come see about it. And if y'all just want smoke, y'all know where to pull up to, you feel me? And get in hell, I'm about to put you on that. That pack! I'm about to put you on that za. <laughs> hey, yo, sell out. So Goku pulls up on this nigga. Yo, he literally sat there and waited like 10 whole days. He had to be bored out of his mind waiting that long. <laughs> just to hold a damn tournament. Even he said it himself like, bro. Why the hell did I give these fools this many days to prepare? Like, <laughs> what was the point? Sale at this point, they have a whole back and forth, bro. 
where my nigga Goku was questioning him about everything. He's like, oh, this the Cell Arena, okay, okay. I seen you got this motherfucking you know I mean out here. But well, what you really like with those? What am I like with those? Boy, I'll beat the shit out your monkey ass, boy. Don't ever play with me like that. Hey, yo, first off, don't damn, call me no bro. monkey, son. That was mad racist. I'm just saying. Second I'm saying, off, like, yo, I can't damn. wait till we come back. My son gonna really put the mouth and Mickey mock-ups on you, boy, on God. I'm gonna fight you first, though, you bitch ass lying. nigga. Yo, Goku, I'll really get it popping right now. Say something else. And my man Goku disappeared at this point. <laughs> it's not trying to fight, you feel me? Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing, nah. But he really wasn't a match at this point, though. I'm gonna keep it clean. So at this point, my man Cell went and destroyed this meteor that was gonna hit Earth. I don't really understand this part. I, I can't remember if he did it because he wanted to protect Earth or like, I, I really don't know, bro, but he broke a meteor up. I, uh, maybe he just wanted to protect Earth so he could have a cell tournament. I can't really remember. One of y'all niggas will tell me in the comments, though. It doesn't matter. Man, man, he did that because he was bored. Like, he needed to, like, keep himself busy. Like, so he went and trained out of, out of the atmosphere and he basically broke the meteor apart just to give... The people of Earth a light show, and as it's as it is raining meteor pieces down on Earth, <laughs> like Cell was that bored. Like damn, I I can't even blame him at this point. Anyways, we got the Krillin Goku rock scene here, which is literally a meme. This man Krillin was tripping. He's like, hmm, my man Goku's been training hardcore for a long time. However, he is resting right now. Let me test his reflexes. Why did you do that, Krillin? Bro, hit this man in the head with a rock. He said, ow. Big, big mistake, bro. <laughs> big mad mistake. As hell. Anyways, this nigga Vegeta started training. Piccolo was training. You feel me? Little training arc and all that. Nigga is the biggest hater ever, bro. Like, God damn, Vegeta's such a hater, bro. He gets stronger from hating on niggas. I swear to God. But anyway, <laughs> at this point, an army pulled up on sale at the cell arena, bro. Why did they do that? This man cell literally smoked the entire army. Bro, they hit him with everything bro, they had. Pause. Bro, they broke out the heavy art artillery and they went to Cell's arena, his ring, and tried to pretty much, you know, turn his lights out permanently. But uh, you can't defeat a menace with Tonka toys. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. All of that and then smoked them all. Piccolo and Goku were having a whole conversation. This man Piccolo was like, Man, I'm strong, but I can't fuck with sell. Goku said, Facts. <laughs> you feel me? That was crazy. But Goku wanted to bring back the Dragon Ball so he could save everybody that died. They called this nigga yep. soft in the head when he did it, but he went to go see King Kai so he could find out about New Namek. He wanted to go get somebody that could be the new Earth's protector and create Dragon Balls. And he ended up doing it. I ain't gonna lie. Bro pulled up the planet Namek and he said the most racist thing I've ever heard in Dragon Ball, bro. He said, hey, look, a whole pack of Piccolos. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Bro, racist, yo. <laughs> nah, but anyways, Goku really went and handpicked the new god for his whole planet, yo. This is different. So then they fixed the Dragon Balls and now we got that problem fixed, but there's still a lot of things to answer. Anyways, Vegeta came out of the time chamber at this point too and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in there? Why are you bloody? Was he so mutilated? Like, like what was he doing to himself? I don't even know. But anyways, 10 days knows, went past bro. fast as hell. This man Toriyama does not play with no in-between shit. He wants straight hands. This man Hercule showed up to the cell ring, and I'm like, oh my god, bro. Hercule might be one of the funniest niggas in Dragon Ball Z, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's hilarious. So. It sounds like Hulk Hogan. Macho man Randy Savage sounded ass, <laughs> bro. Like, oh my god. Bro, you're one of those people, man. I don't care about those people that are a Hulkamaniac. This man, man. Yo, why is that the most accurate description for Hercule? Like, he's like a crossbreed between Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan. All rolled into one. <laughs> bro, I even got a championship belt just for just for the hell of it. And he took that everywhere he everywhere he went. Like, he wanted to cram it down people's throat. Like, yeah, I'm the champ. Come come with me if you want to. <laughs> but you have to kill me to take this from me. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to say that around a, a group of people that can dismember you within the flick of a finger. I'm sorry. 
Roshi seen him on the TV and called this man a ham hock, bro. <laughs> like, what is even happening? Yo, this next part was crazy, bro. The news guy and Vegeta are talking. Vegeta threatens the news guy, right? The news guy backs up and says that this nigga Vegeta's hairline is insane, bro. He talks about his hair to his face. And you can't even get mad at the news guy that said it because this nigga literally has a fresh fade. Bro, this news nigga is drippy, bro. He even had a part. Bro, this nigga goes to a barber shop, bro. A true barber shop. You know that it's real when this is breaking oh the fourth God. wall on your oh hairline, bro. No. This is insane. <laughs> Anyways, Android 16 showed up. This man Cell started diss him immediately. He was like, nigga, you still alive? Like, what? What's up with you? Then the Z Fighters came in deep. Which is crazy because like only four of them can fight for real, so it don't even matter. The mayor of the city Basically. saw Piccolo on the TV got PTSD from this nigga, bro. This it's a lot going on right now. So Hercule and his group show up too after all this. These niggas came in looking like the Topi Ropo, looking like the Flying Six. Big ass elephant nigga looking like a Don fan. And this nigga with a rose in his hand looking like Diet Karam. He did not call oh boy a Don fan. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what the hell he looked like, bro. If Dolphin was in human form, a human form type of Pokemon, like Mewtwo. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, that's hilarious. I'm a yo. <laughs> the Dolphin grabbed his helmet, squished it, and ate it. Why did you eat that? <laughs> like, well, what are you doing? But he got punished. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga Hercule stood up next and held his belt up. Like, bro, got the world championship. Nick put 14 tiles down and exactly. broke 14 of them. Well, I think he broke 13 out of 14 or 14 out of 15. It don't matter. Bro broke a bunch of tiles. Oh, hand was hurting. <laughs> he even used his dynamite kick on sale. Yo, started rocking this nigga. He was like, Mickey, 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 Mickey. <laughs> but then he got punished. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was, it was embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, all of this it happened was. for Goku and Cell to start fighting. And this nigga Goku started mixing that nigga. I am not gonna lie. Bro even had an after image. Goku and Cell fighting each other, talking mad shit. Like, yeah, bitch, what's up? I like that. I like that, bitch. Ass. Like, yeah, son, you already know what it is. We pussy. Like, yo, these niggas talking heavy. <laughs> Goku started powering up, yo. This nigga Vegeta was like, damn, Kakarot. Like, he, again, hating, hating ass nigga, bro. But this man Cell had a Super Saiyan form too, for real. You remember this man had Saiyan genes. Remember that, because it's important Thanks. for later. But anyways, this nigga started to mix crazy. They teleporting, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Pium, 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 Mickey, Mickey. We even that's, get the Cell the laughing meme began, in this scene, like bro, this. where he's like, ah, ah, ah. Like, hey, like. Yo, 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 the Cell Saga is mad hilarious, bro. So many memes came out of this shit. This man Cell even used multi-shadow clone Jutsu in his next part. This nigga was boxing multiple cells. Nick even stole the special beam cannon. This nigga Piccolo was on the sidelines like, oh yeah, this nigga stole my move. I'm like, he uh -huh. mad as hell. Nick stole the criminal one. move and everything. Started throwing destructo this. <laughs> bro, he even stole the command man wave. This man was fighting multi-shadow clone Jutsu and beat this nigga Cell into one nigga though. How you beat the clones back into him, yo? <laughs> like, it went crazy. So after he did the command man wave, this man dodged that shit, bro. I am not gonna lie. Choreography was going so fire, yo. This man Trunks was shaking, yo, in the apprehensiveness. He was like, oh my God, these niggas are boxing. So Goku got up and started doing a command man wave. And Cell was like, what? Seriously? And then he did the instant yeah. transmission command man wave, bro, and hit this nigga with the Yaminer. This man yeah, when yeah, well, you throw in the Kamehameha wave, blend it in with the instant transmission for a close-up shot, man, I thought I thought it was game over after that. But lo and behold, Cell is so broken. He is able to regenerate himself after getting his whole top half, like, blue, blue to smithereens. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, oh my god, this guy is a freaking monster! <laughs> what the hell? Cell had his whole top of his body blew off, bro. But this like, nigga is broken. This. Everybody's like, yay, we won! This nigga regenerated again. He can regenerate from even small molecules. I hate this dude. Nick started mixing He's even more, but Goku was tired as hell. But Cell is too, though, to be fair. Goku started blasting this nigga rapidly, but soon realizes he can't win, yo. He's, he's not that guy. I'm not that guy, pal. Master Roshi watching even says this nigga Goku washed. But Goku says, eh, I give up. But he says there's somebody here that's stronger than me that can wash you. And I remember watching this as a kid, and I'm like, if With GoDaddy payments, you can be paid fast and secure. Start today at GoDaddy.com slash... 
Yo, get these ads up out of here. Get them up out of here. Bad door. Who the hell is going to do it? I'm looking around like Vegeta, maybe? Like, nah, Vegeta hell ain't doing no. it. That is soft. Like, like who going to win? Then this nigga says Gohan. And everybody's like, what? Gohan? Nigga, huh? Gohan walks up, yo, as this is happening. And this nigga, this news, <laughs> the news guy with the clean fade called this nigga a food vendor, bro. Like, come on, son. <laughs> but Gohan powers oh, up. And God. he says, oh, shit. This nigga Goku was capping it. He was not that nice. And they start immediately mixing. I'm not going to lie. Cell is mixing this nigga Gohan crazy, bro. Blasted this nigga through 48 rocks. Piccolo was mad as shit at Goku, bro. He's like, yo, you don't put my son in danger, bitch ass nigga. But Gohan started thinking exactly. back to him being the GOAT, bro. He was like, man, I really need to get angry so I can punish this nigga. And when Cell realizes that Gohan don't get stronger if he's mad, he wants him to get mad. And starts beating this nigga up crazy. He's paused. He started stomping this nigga's head and everything. <laughs> no, Gohan started getting pause, mad a little bro. bit, bro. And hit this nigga back. Makes him bleed with one punch. Piccolo, once again, Gohan real dad tries to intervene. But it's like, yo, Goku's like, Goku's like, yo, adoptive dad. Calm down. <laughs> like, he's about to do that, y'all you know I mean her. So Android 16 is the one that actually intervenes in this part, which is crazy. Because it's like, I never saw that coming. I'm not going to lie. But this nigga supposedly had a self-destruct bomb inside of him. But that bomb not even in him anymore. Boma done took mm. that shit out. Yeah, that was Boma's big mistake. Like, bro, why even take the bomb out in the first place? Like, you built them to fight for your side. Like, co like come on now. And even though he was initially built to, like, you know, put Goku to sleep for good. But... You reprogrammed him to fight for your side to help with the battle with Cell. Why not leave the bomb in there? I mean, granted the fact, granted the fact that I knew, that I knew that she didn't know that, you know, Android sixteen was gonna go all manhunter and you know try to blow Cell up to smithereens, but still. Bomb has been so this nigga got smoked. At this point, Literally. he wants to make Gohan even more mad, so he goes to attack his friends by making Cell Juniors. What the f type time is he on? He's spitting out babies? Like, this nigga's weird. But these little niggas is nice. I'm not gonna lie. They started mixing niggas up. The Z Fighters can't even beat these little niggas. Yamcha, T, and the Krillin, especially these weak ass niggas, they're punished. <laughs> so Android 16 is talking to Gohan at this point, trying to give him advice, Bro. but Cell smokes him mid sentence. Which triggers Gohan into Super Saiyan 2. And it was at that moment Cell knew he fed up. Like, like you wanted him to explode and unlock his true power. You know the old saying, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Yeah, imagine what Cell was going through at that moment. Bro, when I tell you that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is destroying everybody, bro, like, this nigga the GOAT! Bro, Cell Jr. even had sleep. Krillin hostage. This nigga teleport, punish him, teleport, punish another nigga, grab the Sensu beans, gave him the trunks, like, bro, he, oh my god, bro. This nigga was working all the little cells. Niggas is mixing them while holding the beans. He threw the beans in the air, had time to punish them, and catch the Sensu beans. He's literally bro. saving this while fighting this nigga cell. Starts punishing Cell. He's blocking so literally everything. With. Bro, Cell was like, Mickey, 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 be like, weave, 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 block, block, weave. I'm like, oh, this nigga's different. Nick punched Ooh. Cell so hard he threw up, bro. Then he uppercut him. Sure you can. Ooh. Cell is tight at this point. He like, how can I take this much damage with this little attack? Gohan is even hiding the gap between her power, bro. Cell was literally scared of this nigga. Nick ran it up and did a command man like, wave. Bro. They had a command man wave class where this blew his shit back. They thought he died. Bro, bro, Gohan waited till the command man wave got close to him so he could counter with a command man wave of his own. And he was even more powerful than Cell's. Like, it, oh my God. If you can understand, like, the level of savagery, a sad, <laughs> the level of how much savage Gohan was at that age as Super Saiyan 2, and he's beating the brakes off of Cell. Oh my God. Yo, 
I wish he would have kept up his training after the Cell games, but we did get that little glimpse of the old Gohan back in Super, but still. Woo! He regenerated, of course, because he's got broken abilities, but it doesn't even matter. So Goku was like, yo, finish this nigga off, please. Oh, that was crazy. He's like, nah, dad, this bitch, you gotta suffer more. I'm like, bro, oh my God. That Saiyan pride kicking in, this bitch, it's dangerous. But this nigga yo, hit Cell so hard, cold. he spit up Android 18, bro. I've never seen no shit like this, bro. Y'all remember when he absorbed Android 18 and 17 and all that? Yo, this nigga punched Cell so hard in his stomach that he vomited up an entire Android. And then this nigga did the big shit ever, bro. As he resorted back to his second form, this nigga turned into a fat ass version of himself full of energy and tried to blow the world up like a sore loser. But yep. it didn't even matter because this nigga literally teleported this nigga to King Kai's planet and let him blow up there. But this nigga Cell came back from a small molecule of himself and he had a See what Zenkai I mean? boost he is because of the Saiyan DNA. Bro had enough power to go to his Super Saiyan 2 level and he started getting with this nigga Gohan, bro, which led to the father son Kamehameha wave. And I'm not going to lie, bro. This is how things ended, bro. Blue this to smithereens. Come on, blast the smithereens. But before I end the video, I got to talk really shortly about how Trunks went back to his timeline. I've talked about this before. Oh, but what please, Trunks did dude. was the equivalent of being from private school, getting bullied by private school kids, then going to a hood school, like a public school, because his mom maybe moved or whatever, maybe ran out of money, had to get him into public school. Started oh, getting damn. nice there with the public school kids. I'm talking nice with the hands, you feel me? The y'all meaners. Then his mom might have got up a little bit. He returned back to private school and then he started bullying private school kids. That is literally what happened. That he went to a different timeline with stronger ever. androids where he could beat them up easily. Then came back in 2v1, Android 18 and 17, literally destroyed them. Cell tried to kill him. He didn't, didn't work stand this a time. chance. It smoked Cell too, bro. Like, he punished everybody in his timeline, bro. If I was Cell, I would have moved to a different timeline. Oh, that joint <laughs> suck. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Everybody <laughs> dead. Everything blown up. Like, his mom there, I guess. Like, but this come on, Shine. Even crazy. There anymore. I guess maybe he can get the Dragon Balls back and wish everybody back. I, I don't really know how that works, bro. I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean with y'all. <laughs> but, bro, this Cell is a goddamn demon, son. Like, one of the most menacing people in Dragon Ball Z, bro. I'ma come all the way clean. However, that nigga was a bitch for trying to blow up the world. I can't even lie. Yo. Yo. So, he's at the top of the list of Black Air Force energy, bro. I can't, I can't even sit there and lie. But, you know, for him, for him to pull out the desperate Hail Mary and try to blow himself up, along with the Earth, yeah, that, that, that was kind of weak, but you cannot deny the fact, like, he dog walked, like, everybody with ease. Once he hit perfect form, oh, man, it was game over. Like, Vegeta, like I said, he was a dumbass for letting it happen. So, you know, like, as, as Cell's way of saying thank you, he sent him all the way over into the Shadow Realm, and Trunks... Nuff said, and he he sent Krillin to the Shadow Realm with one kick. <laughs> and he basically went through all of the Z Fighters up, up until when Gohan went Super Saiyan 2 and bodied his ass. <laughs> oh man, yo. I mean, even though he even though he got his come up from Gohan. You cannot deny the fact that Cell, in his perfect form, Black Air Force energy personified. Yo, I would like to end this off by saying thank y'all for tuning in. And I know I, I know I paused quite a bit and I got a little bit long-winded, but you know, I had to, you know how I am. When there's a point that I want to further illustrate, you know your boy's gonna talk. But thank I want to thank y'all for tuning in with me. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe. Come kick it with your boy one good time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you already know with the social media. Hit your boy up right over yonder. And this is your boy Blaze here saying Chuck the Deuce. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.